I am going to get weight loss surgery. So I ended up calling the place where I want the weight loss surgery and I asked them, actually called today, and I asked them like, how much is it gonna cost? Right out of pocket, like self pay, etc., etc., and it comes out to $23,000. So, a lot of you can be like, Oh, you have that money, you spend money on Uber Eats. Okay, let's not. $23,000 is a lot of money, and I do not spend that on Uber Eats. I have like a budgeting system that I do. She'd be more successful at getting WLS if she'd just go on a proper diet and stick to it until she can lose enough weight to safely fly to Mexico. She also needs to address her sleep apnea to help with weight loss. Even Stella Williams went to Mexico because her out-of-pocket expenses with her insurance exceeded the cost of going to Mexico and paying cash. Amber thinks WLS is a magic bullet. It isn't. That's okay though because she is never going to get it. Plus, no insurance will cover her for the many plastic surgeries she'd need if she ever lost a substantial amount of weight. So she might as well start investigation into reputable Mexican hospitals because that's where she'll need to go. I don't know if it's like a new thing that Kentucky's doing, but if you have individual insurance, it does not cover weight loss surgery, regardless of what insurance you have. Or it's considered private insurance. Individual, private, whatever it may, whatever it's called, okay. But, um, cause I talked to an insurance agent. That's weird, because there are people like me in Kentucky who obviously need weight loss surgery, so insurance won't be covering that. And that's very unfortunate. So that's still not going to stop me from saying that I am going to get weight loss surgery. I know a lot of people are like, clickbait, bitch, no. Is she saying no insurance in Kentucky will cover weight loss surgery? So she is claimed that no private health insurance plan in the state of Kentucky covers weight loss surgery. That can't honestly be what she's claiming here because that's beyond a careless statement, even for her. Of course, multiple national insurance companies have health plans in Kentucky that cover WLS, such as Blue Cross Blue Shield, United Healthcare, and Aetna. Why is she saying this? Or am I just really misunderstanding something here? Someone most likely told her she is not covered because this is the state of her right now, at only 30-something, and she needs to lose weight first. No private health insurance plan in the state of Kentucky covers weight loss surgery. If you want to change insurance plans to get WLS, you would get on healthcare.gov. Review available plans, look at the brochures to see which plans cover which surgeries and what cost sharing would look like. Then sign up for the best match. If she has already applied for a plan, you'd think she'd already reviewed the coverage and seen that WLS was covered. And even if she messed up and initially chose a plan that didn't cover WLS, she could still change her plan to a new one that covers surgery as multiple plans in Kentucky do. I'm just really, really confused here. It's like someone saying they went to a grocery store and applied for an orange only to come back two days later and claim that no stores in Kentucky sell oranges actually. What do you guys think about this? We all know that Amber is always trying to explain how the world works when she hasn't spent more than like 30 hours outside of her apartment the entire year. Leave your comments down below.